Hello, I'm Rod Henshaw, Dean of Drake University's Coles Library. On uh, August 22nd, uh, Ray Bradbury, one of our greatest authors and storytellers, uh, will celebrate his 89th birthday. Bradbury's writing career began in the late 1930s and continues to this day. Bradbury has a remarkable body of work, including such modern classics as Fahrenheit 451, The Martian Chronicles, the Illustrated Man, The October Country, Something Wicked This Way Comes, and the book I'll review today, Dandelion Wine. All of these works remain in print and are always available at libraries and bookstores. I first encountered Ray Bradbury around the age of 9 or 10, uh, and I obtained a copy of one of his short story collections, R is for Rocket. This book and the stories therein ignited a lifelong passion for reading, for science fiction, and I might add partially set me on the road to my career as a librarian. So I owe all of this to Ray Bradbury. Now Dandelion Wine holds a very special place in Ray Bradbury's body of work. It is by the author's own admission a highly autobiographical uh, work. The story of Dandelion Wine is told through the perspective of Douglas Spaulding, a 12-year-old resident of one Greentown, Illinois, set in the year of 1929. Both the character and the town are stand-ins for Ray Bradbury's uh, own youth and memories of growing up in Waukegan, Illinois. Dandelion Wine was published in 1957 and is partially a compilation of previously published stories. Nevertheless, the book comprises, I think, one of the best integrated portraits of late childhood and one that all ages can enjoy. From my perspective, this is one of the most successful coming-of-age uh, novels ever written. And it draws on all of our understandings and experiences about mortality, aging, and the joys and challenges of life as we go older. The episodes in Dandelion Wine are a great story. And although they do have a nostalgic touch, drawing as they do from Ray Bradbury's own memories and experiences, they ultimately tell a realistic and believable story about growing up in a remarkable place and time. And while this story does not have the science fiction and fantasy elements that are so common to much of Bradbury's work, it does contain a very eerie and albeit prophetic section about a prototype serial killer called the Lonely One that slips through this summer in Greentown, Illinois. The Lonely One is a metaphor for the bogeyman that I think haunts all of our childhood dreams and perhaps carries into adulthood. The ravine that divides the town is also another strong metaphor standing in for the division between town and country, night and day, and youth and old age. Overall, Dandelion Wine is a joyous read, full of wonderful characters, rich and descriptive writing. It is a book that you can come back to time after time. It is, in effect, an endless summer that all of us can sip from, just like the real Dandelion Wine of the title. So happy birthday, Ray, and many more.